In this lesson, we will cover multiple errors in a statement. So first we'll insert a label. We'll call it label one <coughs> underscore label underscore error one. Copy paste. Label error two, one and two. Then we'll put a button. On the button click, we'll set the variable. Now, then we will add the code for on select. So now <coughs> there is no error here. But there is error here. So error 2 is true. Let's run this. Uh, L error. Okay. Text. Okay. This should be variable 2. Variable 2. Variable error 1. Text variable 1. And error 2. Text is variable 2. Okay. And here it's like this. Error 2 is true because this is true. Okay, then this both are reset. We'll make this as 2. 1. We run this. Error 2 is true. <coughs> then we will use, I pasted this code, so if there is error, so instead of semicolon here, because I removed it, so if there is error, it will say error 2 is true and otherwise error 2 is false. Similarly, error 1 is true and error 1 is false. So error 1 is false, error 2 is true because there is error here so let's make it 2 and make it 0 here I run this this time error 1 is true and error because it did not go to this line it didn't execute any of these so remember so this is when the error is true it is if the error is not there and then the second line it will go only if the first line uh, doesn't have any error so if it is like this, false, false. So this is how you can do if, else, if, else in each line and it will handle the multiple errors in one if error. 